Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Harry here again. So today I was thinking with the PS5 coming out, all next gen consoles, this, that and the other, how much is your older generation PS4, Xbox One, how much is the stuff going for online, trading it in for cash, this, that and the other? So what I was going to do, I was going to look up the price that game would give you for cash or trading, uh, CEX or SEX, how much they'd give you for cash and trading. And then I was also going to look at Music Magpie, see how much they'd give you cash and trading. And I was going to try and find out what's the best deal and what's the best one to go with. Sadly, Game is no longer doing uh, tradings at the moment due to coronavirus. So you can't uh, trade in your games for cash or credit. So I've gone for another company online called Game Exchange, and they seem to be the one of the top trading game websites. So here we have how many games we've got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We've got sixteen games here. Some new, most fairly old. So I've gone online. And had a look to see how much I could get on each website, see what they'd offer me for cash and what they'd offer me for exchange. So starting off, CEX would give me £82.20p in cash. And then for trade, they'd give me £124.80p, which isn't too bad really. I'd say I'd say that's like your benchmark I'd go for. Next I went <coughs> sorry. Next I went on to Music Magpie and I was quite shocked considering CEX offered me £82.20p. They offered me just over £48 for all the games. So Music Magpie not doing very good there. Then I went on to the Game X Change. And they would offer me £87 and 2p, which is quite good. Or a trade-in of £125 and 89p, which isn't too bad. The only problem is, well, at the moment, you've got to post them anyway if you want to trade them in. But it's a fully online thing, so you'd have to send them off. And then I don't know how it works, if any of them are damaged per se, if they'd return them to you or they just knock you on the price or whatever. But yeah, so that was the prices for that. Then I got to thinking, how much is the console itself worth? So I've got a PS4 Slim, uh, 500 gigabytes. So I then typed that into the website to see what I'd get for that. And CEX came in at £112 for cash or £160 for trade, which isn't too bad, considering the PS5's been out for a few months now. Then I went to Music Magpie, and they'd offered me £90 cash, because they, do, they don't do credit, or Game Exchange would offer me £105. So CEX went in there on the consoles, oh, and they uh, Game Exchange would give me 140 credit as well so that was that and then i thought what about the controllers you know the your standard dual shocks how much are they going for now cex trade in price for cash is 22 pound or 32 pound in trade music magpie would offer you five pound cash five pound cash and at the moment i just typed it on amazon to see what they're going for brand new if you want to buy a ps4 controller brand new it costs you 45 pound so music magpie is really looking like the rip-off deal here uh game exchange they'd offered you they'd offer 25 pound cash or 30 pound trade so game exchange they're giving you a better deal cash wise rather than trading so it's not too bad. But if I'm being honest with you, if you want to sell your games, I think you're best off trying to sell them yourself. Like stick them on Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, that kind of thing. Spock. See how much you can get there. List your own price. Probably more than what the 
companies would give you, put them on there for a week or two, sell a few, and then whatever you don't sell, stick them on, uh, trade them in at CEX really, because that's the best way I think you'd get your money out of it. Because majority of these places, they're gonna try and double double their money on you, at least really. And thinking about it, I was hoping to get games prices, but by the looks of it and past experience, I know game doesn't give you as much as CEX. It probably gives you two thirds of what they are. But if you are going to try and upgrade to a next gen console, you're not really want to. You're not going to want to buy it second hand. Well, not if it's just come out anyway. You'd rather buy it brand new. And so that's why you'd only probably be wanting to get the cash offers from these and not the trade prices. So really, I think you are best off trying to sell it yourself. That's what it seems anyway. But I've also noticed a lot of these companies are now buying a lot of older, much older generation games and consoles. Like I think some are buying, well, they're all buying uh, like Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System games and consoles and stuff like that up to the modern day. So it'll be, I'm going to go through some of my older like collection of classic gaming and see how much they'll give me for that. I'll save that for another video. But I'm pretty interested. I'm rather interested to see what they're selling for because I know some of the games now can go for like £60 upwards if you've got a decent box for it and games in good working order. But that'll be interesting to see. So, yeah, there we have it. We've got trading prices for your PS4 games, console, and so on. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like the video, please like. If you want to subscribe, that'd be great. There's always something different on the channel. I uh, hope you have a nice day, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.